one has been in the news quite a bit because of how bad the drive through line is. Uh-oh, sometimes viral videos make the news. So as a result of my video, the Connecticut posted a follow-up article talking to the town planning and zoning committee and their first selectmen, and it turns out I stand corrected on a few things. So number one, the town denies that they were ever going to tell Starbucks employees to work faster, which, that's fair. I was just going off of information based on the Trumbull Planning and Zoning Commission minutes, which had a total of one sentence on this topic, as well as the original Connecticut Post article from 2021, which used the quote, pick up the pace, which generally means work faster, if I'm not mistaken, but okay, fair. Number two, they didn't vote on and pass a resolution to tell the Starbucks employees to make things more efficient. They were simply going to offer their recommendation. So technicality, but again, I stand corrected. But the big thing is I reached out to the town asking for a copy of the letter that they sent, and it turns out they actually never sent the letter. It was never sent because the chairman of the PZC wasn't present at that meeting where they agreed to send the letter, and he thought it was too inappropriate to send when he found out. Hmm, I wonder why a letter from a town recommending what private employees do would be inappropriate to send. Hmm. So let's read into it. Paragraph right above my head. When this commission approved the application for the Starbucks business, this drive through window was discussed at length and the commission received assurances that it was completely manageable and would not cause any of the exact problems it is causing now. Hmm, I didn't know Starbucks employees themselves were responsible for the site plan layout that their business moved into. Again, above my head, as the situation stands now, the regrettable truth is that we have a traffic congestion issue as a result of this drive through window. Well, they got that correct. If only there was a town commission that could approve or disprove site plan layouts with drive throughs Hmm, who approved this? It's not hard to understand that when you build for cars, you're going to get cars. It's not surprising. One of the members of the town was remarking in the original Connecticut Post article that he was very surprised that this problem was unfolding because the old Starbucks location that they replaced didn't have a drive through and people still managed to get their coffee just fine. As I mentioned before, the drive through is an illusion of convenience. Drivers think the drive through is convenient for them and so they will stack up in line, when in reality it just throws a whole bunch of negative externalities onto the town that the drive through is located in. You get a line of idling cars, you get poor air quality, and you get traffic that backs up onto main roads. And yes, while I do stand corrected on some of the details of the video I posted, the fact still stands that the town was going to throw the responsibility of fixing the drive through onto the employees and not recognize that this is a product of their own doing in approving a drive through in the first place. Stop approving drive throughs